Showing you the old one that I've got, uh, pulled out of the car already, chopped the sides off of it. Gives you an idea why uh, that rear suspension really needed to be addressed. Previous owner pretty much welded straight to the axle, and there's just a bolt uh, holding it onto the cross member here. Absolutely no ability to uh, adjust it, um, fix any of the, uh, if it's out of alignment at all. That was pretty much how it was going to drive. So I've got myself uh, some three inch pipe and some square tubing. And the plan here is to build up some square tubing, cut it with, uh, cut it with a cutoff wheel and kind of to work my way in a little bit, get a nice welding surface here. The reason why I'm using pipe uh, is I want to do an exhaust pass through. I'm hoping to have the exhaust coming from the front engine uh, right through the cross members uh, to the back. The car being as low as it is, there's not a whole lot of room to, to fit that uh, exhaust underneath. So it's going to have to go right through the middle. Got the cross member pretty much tacked in. I did some uh, curved cuts, started off with cutoff wheels. It turned out really badly. Um, I read online that you could cut a curve using a cutoff wheel, and I think just with the uh, thickness of that tubing, um, that was not the answer. So I went and bought myself a plasma cutter on eBay, made it much, much easier. I've got two cross members here, I've got one for the, the uh, transmission mount. The exhaust is going to pass through right here. The other thing that I added on was I added the uh, suspension connectors here help out with that four link. Uh, things are looking pretty level. I love this digital gauge I found off of Amazon. Um, I can get things pretty level, but that really makes me feel confident uh, that I've leveled the frame out to start with. So both of these are pretty much level. The other thing I wanted to do was I wanted to make sure that this cross member was just a little bit lower than the top surface of the frame rails. As I build the floor over top, it's going to leave a little bit of a gap there between the floor. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to be able to run the brake lines and the electrical wires, uh, and I guess the fuel lines, um, right through that gap there. If it doesn't work, I'll just drill a hole through the uh, cross member and, and do it that way. I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. Um, lessons learned. Don't use cutoff wheels to cut curves. <laughs> Uh, the plasma cutter worked out really well, so I'm just going to finish up the welding that I have to do here, and uh, we're in good shape. Wow. 